welcome back to my next up close product video now in this video we are going to be taking a look at the first of two rod transportation pieces of luggage so in this video we are going to be taking a look at the tactical HD compact quiver so as you can see then from the packaging that is exactly what the quiver looks like there is a description as well good sort of six or seven features about the quiver and then the dimensions down there below as well so let's get it open and have a closer look so as you would expect the compact quiver is finished in that tactical HD camo and finished with the green pockets and as standard like everything in the tactical HD range it is finished in the 1200D material. So let's start from the bottom and work our way up. So as you can see straight away a nice hard wearing wipe clean base. Now this quiver will accommodate four rods, also potentially a brolly, you know, a landing net, sling. So it's going to be carrying, uh, you know, a fair amount of weight. And if you're putting it down on sort of gravel like this, it can be prone to rubbing and uh, wearing away over a short space of time. So with this hard wearing base, it's just going to ensure that there's going to be nothing sort of ending up ripping or tearing, poking through losing bits and pieces out the bottom so nice and clean hard wearing base that's certainly going to last the length of time now there are a couple of ways that you can carry the compact quiver and one of them is being with the included shoulder strap now to make balancing the load a little bit easier on the shoulders and the back there are three sort of looped pieces of material sewn in to the entire length of the compact quiver now what this is allow you to do is use the nice big buckle sort of style clasps that are attached to the shoulder strap and adjust where you actually attach the shoulder strap to and this will just like I say help you get a more balanced load make it easier for you to be carrying to and from the car to your swim etc So as you can see the actual buckles um, on the shoulder strap are nice and sort of oversized, nice and big, got a nice big hook on there which easily fits through the uh, loops on the uh, quiver itself and it's just a case of popping into place the uh, clasp. So really really easy, really really secure, not fiddly by any means and you can get them into the bottom one, middle or top to get that balanced load. the sort of bottom third there is um, a pocket which is uh, right down to the base and probably about a third of the length of the actual quiver itself now it's secured in place with a nice big clasp nice and strong nice and sturdy not sort of cheap or tacky or flimsy in any way shape or form so nice and strong and robust now this pocket will allow you to store things like extra bank sticks um, buzz bars any sort of additional metal metal wear that you probably may want to keep a spare now the shoulder strap is also a decent size as well there's nothing worse than having uh, you know four rods on the quiver a brolly and whatever else inside as well having a really thin strap and it digging into your shoulders or back or whatever you know it's it's not a comfortable way to carry your kit to and from your swim so this nice big oversized padded strap with a decent amount of length to it will ensure that this will go over your shoulder and uh, yeah save you from any aches or pains along the way on the same run as those uh, loops for the shoulder strap you also get a carry handle as well so if it is just like a lift and shift straight out the back of the car then you do have this uh, reinforced double sort of cross stitched carry handle that is placed in the center of the quiver as well so nice grip nice size not going to dig into your fingers and uh, just allow you to lift and shift like i say that out the back of the car or the van straight into your swim next to the uh carry handle and the uh, shoulder strap you will see one of those webbing sort of uh, tie points now you would have seen a lot of these on the uh, other videos that I've put, put up of the new uh, luggage 
Now these allow you to get those Velcro straps up or down, left to right, and to be able to add additional pieces of kit to the outer of the compact quiver. Working our way up a little bit further, you have this pocket. Now as you can see, has that nice bespoke zips, bespoke pulleys, and this little pocket is absolutely perfect for leads. Uh, the leads off your rods, spare leads, or any other little bits and pieces that you may want to uh, fit in this pocket. So we're now at the top of the compact quiver, and to finish it off and keep everything inside safe and secure, it has a roll top finish. So as you can see, this material is stitched all around the sort of top end of the compact quiver that will allow you to just fold it down like so bend it round back on itself and clasp it into place so flipping the compact quiver around and taking a look at the rod sort of storage side you will see that there are four um, sort of velcro points now as I mentioned it does accommodate four rods so whether that's two rods a marker and a spod or a three rod set up on a spod or a marker anything like that this will hold four rods so your rods are secured in place by four sort of oversized velcro straps you just run your rods between the velcro get that pulled round nice and tight and that will keep your rods nice and secure you also have this strap that runs all from the front of the quiver right round your rods and being able to be buckled into into place and pulled down nice and tight now that it just gives you a little bit more security that your rods will not be going anywhere even though obviously you've got them velcroed into place it just ensures that there's no sort of slippage anything like that and your rods aren't going to be falling out in transit working our way down into the very bottom of the compact quiver you will notice this uh, nice large pocket now four rod butts will easily fit in there with obviously the uh, top sections as well even the uh, sort of bulkiest of buttons so uh, rods like cork for example that do tend to be a lot wider there is more than enough space to uh, yeah get them down there in that pocket without having to sort of fight with them to get them down into that space there's more than enough space there to be able to slide them in without uh, yeah without damaging any eyes or anything like that so nice big oversized pocket allows for all of those rods to be tucked neatly in place well that is the tactical hd compact quiver a real simple piece of luggage that will easily allow you to transport your rods to and from your swim